Let's look at language arts, pages 239 through 242. Page 239 is called A Full Day. And if you look here at the top of the page, you'll see where it says phonics are controlled vowels, the O-R or O-R-E combination, just like our spelling words for this week. Remember, R controlled means that you hear the R sound more than you hear the vowel sound. So our vowels, we have A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Those are our vowels. But in these words, you're going to hear the R sound more than you hear that vowel making it sound. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the directions say. Read the story below. Write each word in dark print below the picture it names. So let's read through these sentences. We'll pause when we see a word that's in extra dark print and write it beneath the appropriate picture. Okay, let's start. Jill rides a horse. Here we have a word in dark print. Which picture matches the word horse? Take a look at your options. And then when you're ready, please write the word horse under the picture. Here our best option is number four. Let's read our next sentence. Sam goes to the store. And here's our next word in dark print that also has that R controlled vowel, store. Look at your picture options, find the picture of a store. When you're ready, go ahead and write the word store underneath that appropriate picture. That would be number three. Great job, let's keep going. Mort plays the horn. The word horn is an extra dark print and it also has an R controlled vowel. Which picture matches the word horn? Number two. Let's keep going. Norm plants some corn. Corn is an extra dark print. Corn matches picture number one. When you're ready, go ahead to the next sentence. Others play sports. Let's find a picture of sports. That matches number six. Let's keep reading. Man keeps score and score is in dark print. Which shows a picture of a score? Number five. And our final sentence says, no one is b or d bored. Great job. When you're done with this page, let's go ahead and continue on to 240. Two hundred and forty. If we look at the top, tells us we have R controlled vowels, but this time we're using E R, I R, U R, and they're all making the er sound. Even though there are three different ways to spell it, they all make the same one sound, which is er, 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 er. That's what we're listening for. Joe's home run. Finish each sentence with a word from the word bank. Write each word in the correct puzzle boxes. Okay, so we're gonna have clues down below to help us here with our crossword puzzle. So let's go ahead and find out what our words are though. So I'll say them first. You can go ahead and repeat. T, er, n, turn, g, er, l, girl, b, er, st, burst, sh, Er t shirt. H er her. Th er 
third. Third. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of our clues and then use that to fill in our crossword puzzle. Here, if we're going across, that means horizontally, okay? Across horizontally with number one says, she ran with a hmm of speed. So let's find number one going across. Here we have this and we count one, two, three, four, five. We need a word that has five letters. Well, there are three options. So here we can say, she ran with a burst of speed. She ran with a shirt of speed. She ran with a third of speed. Which one sounds best to you? I would pick burst, meaning a quick explosion of speed. It happened very suddenly. She ran with a burst. Each letter gets its own box. When you've written burst, go ahead and check it off. Okay, let's continue going across. Across number two says, blue was, hmm, team's color. Across two, let's find that here. It has one, two, three, only three letters. There's only one option. Blue was, her team's color, her, and check it off. Number three, Joe hit the ball past hmm base. Three across. One, two, three, four, five. We need a five letter word. So we still have two options. Joe hit the ball past Shirt base. Joe hit the ball past third base. What's the best option? Third. And check it off. You're doing great. Now we're going to move down to the clues for down or the vertical words. Starting with down number four. Joe wore a blue... Hmm. Going down with number four has one, two, three, four, five. It's a five letter word and we also know that it ends with the letter T. Look carefully at your options and you can quickly see there's only one that works. It's the word shirt. shirt. Joe wore a blue shirt. Now you, the H is already filled in so you don't need to write it again. And then continue down. The T is also already there. So when you're done, check it off. Number five. It was Joe's hmm at bat. Five going down starts here and it starts with a T and it's one, two, three, four. And it's only four letters, but it starts with a T. That's a big clue. It was Joe's Turn at bat. Turn. Six. That hmm hit a home run. There's only one word left and only one space remaining. That girl. Girl. That girl hit a home run. And check it off. When you're all done with this one, let's continue on to page 241. Two hundred and forty-one is called What Will Gert Gert Wear? What will Gert wear? Gert is a name for a girl. What will Gert wear? Although looking here at these illustrations first grade, you know what it makes me think of? Do you remember our story, Tacky the Penguin? And how Tacky would dress up in different clothes than the rest of his penguin friends, but he was a really good friend to them. For some reason, when I see these illustrations, these penguins are reminding me of Tacky the Penguin. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the instructions say. Circle and write the word that completes each sentence. 
Okay, number one. Gert looks at hmm three shirts. Gert looks at horse horse three shirts. Gert looks at her her three shirts. Gert looks at fur fur three shirts. What do you think is the best choice? Horse, her, fur. Her. Let's go ahead and circle it and write it on the line. Number two. Her hmm is too small. Her shirt shirt is too small. Her sir sir is too small. Her sh or sure is too small. Use your illustration as a clue. Which word is best? Shirt, sir, sure. Shirt. Let's circle it and write it on the line. Number three. This shirt is too hmm. D a day. K -er -o. E curly, dirt, E dirty. This shirt is too. Use your illustration as a clue. This shirt is too day, curly, dirty, dirty. Four. Here's her hmm, shirt. Here's her st -er, stir shirt. Here's her third third shirt. Here's her t -urn, turn shirt. The best option is well if we look, this one was first. This one is second, and now this one is her third. Five. This shirt is hmm. Perfect. Perfect. J -erm, germ. B -erd, bird. This shirt is. Perfect germ bird. This shirt is perfect. You're doing great. We have one more page to do for today. So when you're finished with 241, let's continue on to 242. Two hundred and forty-two is called Words to know. Read each story. Draw a picture to go with it. You can follow along as I read this to you because these new words to know might be unfamiliar to you and that's totally okay. I can't break that candy in two. You give it a try and I'll give it a second try. We sure can divide candy. So here you have an option and they've already shown many different types of candies in their own illustration. But you can think of an example where maybe you're sharing candy and you're trying to divide it or break it into two and you're struggling to do that, but then you are able to divide it. Right away, the first candy that I can think of that actually is pretty easy to break into two would be like a Kit Kat bar because they actually are divided and they seem to actually do break and divide pretty easily. It would be pretty tricky to try and divide something like a lollipop or an M&M because that is really very hard candy. It's very hard to do that. So maybe think of a different candy that you actually are able to divide and maybe you're splitting it here with somebody else. You can choose to use that as part of your illustration here. Then a little bit further down, we have one more story. When you're finished with this one, let's go ahead and work on the second one. It says, 
Jeff began to tell a joke. I began to laugh. I laughed until my head hurt. <laughs> so maybe think of, for your illustration, drawing a person that you would call Jeff who's telling a joke and you are the one who's laughing at that hilarious joke. 